So today I'm standing in this gorgeous four bedroom, three bath, fully custom home from Arthur Ruttenberg in the Bexley community in Land Lakes, Florida. And if you are, aren't familiar with this amazing master plan community, you are about to be blown away. So make sure you stick around because this home tour and this community tour is gonna be like nothing you have seen yet. So the first thing I want to share is the location because oftentimes when people are talking about the suburbs of a major city, it's hard to gain reference, especially if you're not from here. Now Bexley is located about 30 to 35 minutes north of downtown Tampa. It's just northeast, if you will. It's only 20 to 25 minutes drive time to Tampa International Airport and just east of the Veteran Highway, which is a great toll road. It's super easy to drive. You're going to love it. It's about 10 miles away from I-75. You're only about 25 or 30 minutes away from Tampa Premium Outlets, which gives you access to over 300 different shops, all the restaurants and uh, boutiques that there are over there, lots of entertainment. Um, you even have the Tiger Wood inspired pop stroke, which is the uh, adult putt putt, if you will. It's a really cool spot if you've never been there before. If you've ever been to Top Golf, think of the Top Golf version of putt putt. That's what they did at Pop Stroke. So it's really cool to go check out. But this is really conveniently located. You got the schools right there in the community. Um, it makes it very desirable from a living perspective. So it's really great in that respect. Now it's surrounded by all types of shopping. You don't have to go all the way to over to Wesley Chapel, even though those uh, shops there are incredible at the Tampa Premium Outlets. You get the shops at Wiregrass. You've also got the Grove and Crate up north um, that you can go to, but those are a little bit further away. But you've got four shopping centers that are literally right at the entry point of this community and a lot to love. I mean, you've got Aldi down there. There's a Publix in your backyard. Um, Mission Barbecue, Starbucks is right. I mean, everything else. You, you don't have to leave the community more than a mile to get almost everything you're ever going to need except for employment if you decide that you have to go into the office. A lot of people who live in the community um, are hybrid workers or remote workers. And then there are, of course, you know, people who work at the defense contractors who work for the university systems, um, the healthcare systems in the area. So there's a lot to love about what's happening in Bexley. It's awesome. Another thing I wanted to cover really quick because we always get asked about the schools. Now, Bexley has A-rated schools, which is fantastic. If you know anything about schools in Florida, that's not necessarily common. Pasco County as a whole is has some top-rated schools. Definitely worth checking out. Um, they're continuing to get better. They're attracting more and more talent to the area as the area continues to grow. So what a blessing, right? But right there in Bexley, you've got Bexley Elementary, you've got Roosh Middle School, school and you've also got Sun Lake High School right there in the community. It's amazing. But guys, I don't want you to feel like I sugarcoat everything, right? You know, it's a great community, A-rated schools. It's an incredible place to live, but I want you to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. We're going to interview a resident. Um, you're going to see the, the type of real estate you can buy there. This is a beautiful Arthur Ruttenberg home that was built just over a year ago. But more importantly, you're going to hear how the homeowners lived in this home. And it's an incredible incredible experience y'all I can't wait to share this with you so we got a little bit of a treat today we actually get to interview the owner of this home which is very difficult to do because I don't know if you guys know this or not but most people are terrified of being in front of the camera Dan has said as much also but he is willing to get in front of the camera to share with you guys why they bought into this community and why they've loved it so much and how they live in it which ultimately is the most important thing because if you're going to buy this home while the home is stunning, it's beautiful. One of the most important things, if not the most important thing, is how are you gonna live in the community? And Bexley here has a ton to offer. It is a very, very attractive master plan community. It's drawing a lot of people from all over the country. But Dan, talk to us about why you guys ultimately chose to build this home here in this community um, and what you have loved about it so far. We moved here from uh, up north in uh, Chicago. We wanted to get out of this big city. We lived in downtown Chicago, and uh, we came down here. And we love Florida. We, I used, we, me and my wife previously lived in Florida, so we wanted to get back to Florida. Uh, Tampa area was great, and we're used to Central Florida, but we wanted to go to Tampa. And there's a new up and coming area here in Pasco County. Yep. We looked at several areas, and we settled on uh, Bexley. We chose Be Bexley because it's it's brand new, it's a very young community. We got in sort of late in the construction phase. Yeah. And this was a beautiful area, the street, acoustic loop, great area with the young families everywhere. 
And if you don't like, you know, your area in Bexley, there's always another area where you can go visit and make friends. Mm -hmm. And so we do that. We uh, Courtyard Loop is a great area, great uh, tour trace. Um, we meet other families with young kids. We have a young kid. Um, our son is six, and so there's lots of people in this area yeah. with young families. And, you know, you mentioned a couple things there that I do want to just grab and, and make point of right away. You know, one of the things about Land Lakes that tends to attract families is the, the quality of the schools. So that's something that usually pops out and pulls people here. But Bexley specifically, there's a lot of green space around here, right? And, and if you have been to the new developments here in the greater Tampa Bay area, you know that you don't always have, it doesn't necessarily always feel like the community was built into the environment. A lot of the times they come in, they clear cut these places. There's no, you know, old growth vegetation anymore. Like you lose the old growth oak trees and those types of things. But Odessa and Lando Lakes have really done a good job of keeping that right, as opposed to other communities, which I really love. And I know you take advantage of that, right? I pulled up today and you're going for a run. Yeah. You know, there's trails all around here. Like talk to the, you know, potential homeowner here, how they would live in this community if they're active. I, I love running uh, in the heat of the summer. I usually go in the morning. Right now is March, April is the best time in Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, so I went for an afternoon run. There's lots of trails. Lots of trails are multi. Uh, you want to run on the sidewalk. You don't like that. They have little softer gravel trails that are on your joints. Yeah, some of them, some of them are parallel like that. Some of them aren't, but those same trails you can go biking. Yeah, the very back, back in Tor Trace, um, you go back there and it's a very big. Um, it bifurcates the trails. You go deep into the into the preserve. Yeah, it's a beautiful uh, Florida preserve area where you can see the natural Florida environment. How it's yeah. like it's untouched. The clubhouse has a map of all of them. Uh, I just know where mine is. That I usually pick. The, the yeah, how far is it from the house to that trail? Yeah. How far is it to that trail? Quarter mile, not even. So it's right around yeah. the corner, right? Yeah. As you walk out of your house and you're right over by the trails. And then yeah. how how many miles are of trails are back there for you to run? You, you ran three oh. over three miles today, but like there's yeah there's what 20, 30, 50? Um, how many miles back there? There's three big trails and okay. there's a couple of short ones that are like scalping around the uh, the pond. Yep, that's the one I chose today. Um, just the other day, I went all the way back to George Race. Okay. Two days ago. Um, just felt like it. And how far was that run? That was a 5K. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a good run. <laughs> it was one loop all the way around. And I, it, it was a 5K. Okay. So it was, it was great for training. Yeah. Your wife mentioned that, you know, you guys put in this stunning pool out back, which is great. But she mentioned you still love to go to the community clubhouse with the kids, right? Like, and um, really plug in there. Um, talk to us about the amenities at the amenity center. What do they have there? There is Olympic size pool. Well, I don't know if it's Olympic size, but there, it's a. Uh, it's got swing lanes. Yep. So it's got one, two, three, four, five swing lanes. Um, then there's more of a kiddie pool, play pool, lounge pool within uh, uh, in the pool seating benches. Yep. Uh, families just get together. Um, and then there's it's a resort um, style seating, yep. chairs, umbrellas chase chairs all for the residents yeah right uh gazebo that could be rent for parties yeah um there's a cafe over there correct yeah the cafe what and she mentioned the food was really good at the cafe now i haven't eaten at the cafe yet <laughs> so i'm i'm intrigued but um you know there's a cafe there's a there's a gym correct yeah there's a gym okay uh, uh breakfast and lunch it's open for they got a really good breakfast sandwich twisted sprocket um salad is really good um they make sandwiches you name it um the gym is really good um, I use a personal trainer. We go in there, me and my wife together. Um, and this big window where the treadmills face and elliptical machines, and you just have a beautiful landscape of Florida, right? Just in woods, right? Very cool. It's good, you know, just to stare out the window. You want to you know, go on the treadmill for yep. five miles, and the view is just great. And we're only four minutes to the hub also, which is really cool right off of yeah. 54. What are some of your favorite places to go when you go down to the hub? Is it the brewery? Like, where, where are you going oh, down it, yeah, hang out? I'll admit it, yeah. yep. <laughs> I love a good beer. Yep. Brewery is really good. Um, Bella Brava is really good. Uh, um, Italian scratch kitchen mm -hmm. um, type of uh, eatery. Taco Tuesdays, Taco Bus. Yep, yeah, Taco Bus, yeah. <laughs> and if you don't know Taco Bus, uh, Guy Fieri made it famous. I didn't um, know that. Yeah, a long time ago. So it was literally a bus in Tampa. It was right next to, uh, not well, not too far away from Cigar City Brewing, which is another Tampa staple, if you guys aren't familiar. Um, great area, but they've expanded. They've got little satellites all over the place. And when I pulled into Bexley, sure enough, there's a Taco Bus in there, so. And our son loves the, uh, the hub. Um, and another great place, opportunity to meet families, young families. Every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there's a, a ton of families in the middle of the hub, 
with Anirondack chairs, picnic tables. Everyone goes to the eateries, takes it outside, eats. Thirsty Buffalo comes out and will serve on yep. Friday night and Saturdays to come out and serve drinks and you know all the families get together out there. Yeah, one of the things, and and I'm glad you brought that up because one of the biggest fears I hear from clients who relocate to the area here is they're anxious, right? They were nervous because, and, and I relocated five years ago, as you guys know, and, and you came from the Midwest also, right? And our fears are, how are we gonna make friends? How are our kids gonna make friends, first of all, if you are if you are our parent? And then how are we gonna make friends, right? And what, I don't know if you found the same experience I did, and it sounds like that's the case, is you'd be amazed at how communal, right? Florida, Tampa is in general, because so many people move here from somewhere else, number one. And then, then you plug into a community like Bexley, that has an area like the hub where it's congregating on purpose, right? Yeah. And people are very open, right? They're because they do they're doing the same thing you are. And right. And does you know, there's so this is such an influx of people coming to the Florida, Tampa area yeah. and Pasco County, Bexley, that um, you know, the it's it's there's a little bit of fear, intimidation into that. But the HOA does make that a little bit easier. Happy hours on Friday. Nice. Um also, um, food trucks on Friday nights. So there it cool. starts up. Um, I think it's just sorry, it's just started up. Yep. a season. So usually two trucks. They mix it up. They change it up. An excuse to go hang out. Yeah, yeah, at exactly. the end of the right, day, right? That, that's what that's what yeah. they're doing. They're facilitating that, which is, which is awesome. So let's talk a little bit about the house, right? So you you picked Arthur Rutenberg for a reason, right? Um, you picked this this model home for a reason, right? Um, it, it suited your guys' needs, or at least. You, that's the intent behind why you built it. What have been some of your favorite features or favorite areas of the home, right? Like, you know, you guys have a bonus space upstairs that could be used as either uh, an entertainment area, you know, a theater, or it can be the hangout spot for the kids because you don't want toys all over the house. It, yeah. Everybody's going to live it a little bit different. You have you have a den, you have, you you know, you've used a separate bedroom as an office. Like, what are some of the your favorite components of this home so far? Uh, my favorite is, is, is the office setup. Um, for when we're working, when our son comes home from school, up and upstairs in the bonus room, mm -hmm. we do uh, every once in a while we do movie nights, or we can do a movie in the morning. We have blackout shade comes down, we can watch TV. It, everything's just very it flows really uh, open floor plan type of uh, situation where we can have a movie here, uh, movie upstairs. Yeah, um, so this is a great area to have a party, have friends over, sure. set up you know food, snacks, and then. Outside, when the neighbors all want to get together, and every once in a while we do, is they're out on, uh, on the lawn of the, we call it the loop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're on a cul-de-sac here. Yeah. Uh, so it's called Acoustic Loop. That's the name of the street, but it's huge. It's not the normal, usually when you pull into a cul-de-sac, it's four houses in a corner, and you got little space to drive around. There's barely enough room to park, right? That's not the case here. There is a humongous loop here. Um, and, and that's a great point. Your, your wife mentioned that, that, you know, the neighbors will throw a party and that you guys have even had a bounce house in the middle of that, right? So the kids oh, yeah. are all... <laughs> Over July every year so far, the, you know, we've been here uh, so many years, but um, we, 4th of July, get the kids get together and a bounce house. It's one of the wet bounce houses. It'll have a slide. Very cool. Wet slide. Yep. Um, that's important in July in Florida, <laughs> just so you know. So then uh, that goes on during the day and then... Um, you know, someone's shooting off fireworks at night, so. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. And, and um, it, there's, I can't emphasize more, uh, uh, the, all the kids in this, in yeah. all of Bexley as a whole. So you'll find your niche no matter what you're, mm -hmm. that may be. Yeah. One of the things that people will often ask when, you know, you just had this home built. So right away, you know, the, the people looking at your home, want, and I've been in this business and going on 12 years now, they're going to ask, why are you guys leaving? Right. Um, people are concerned that there there may be something wrong with the house. I'm here to tell you there's nothing wrong with this home. I've been in it for the last three hours. It's stunning. It's gorgeous. But that is a question that people always ask, right? And now, um, if you're comfortable sharing, you know, just uh, let them know why why you're choosing to sell the home um, and why they may enjoy it. They're choosing to sell the home just basically for my job. But I took another position. It's going to have me move out of state. So um, much as I don't want to leave. Florida, yep. I'm not far away. Yeah, I'm state away. Yeah, so I could always just come back. That's right for the week. Short flight. So yeah. not that big <laughs> yeah. deal. Yeah, and and that's a, the reason that I bring that up. And not everybody wants to share that, right? But like the, what we have found in this business is people, you know, we try to place this idea of why people are are, are leaving. And uh, this home is stunning. The community is amazing. When you see this house, you're going to be blown away, right? Between the pool, 
you know, you've got these humongous, I mean, I think I'm pretty sure the doors are uh, at least eight feet tall. Um, you know, you got the, the triple slider there, opens right up, and then you get an additional two to 300 square feet of living space in the, in the good months, right? Those five months of the year where everybody loves, you can just open it up and live outdoors and indoors. And that's what draws a lot of people in. You do have this oversized kitchen island here, which is amazing. The bonus room is incredible. I love the den space up front, it's, it's excellent. And again, the street is extremely quiet, right? Being on a, on a loop like this, I, it is bigger than, like I said, it, it, comparing this to a cul-de-sac is unfair, <laughs> right? And people love cul-de-sacs. So think about that on steroids and that's what you have on acoustic loop here. So it's definitely worth taking a look at. It's worth checking out. I think the home is stunning. I think you guys are priced very well. Um, competitive is what I would say. And uh, this home is beautiful, man. You guys picked great finishes on this property. Um, you know will people want to put their own touch on it maybe i don't know we're selling them brand new and people are picking finishes just like this so i think that that dan and his family did an excellent job and they care for it well it does not look like it's got a um a child living in it <laughs> i don't see any dings on the stainless steel so something you know something that right man that's hard to do because any parent knows that like that is automatically going to happen so uh dan thank you for your time today man i know that like again it's not always uh People aren't necessarily always comfortable with jumping on camera, but sharing your experience in the community, how much you really enjoyed it, it's gonna go a long way. And I'm sure whoever decides to call this place home in the future, you're absolutely gonna love it too. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Go in. I hope you enjoyed today's tour of Bexley as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. And I really hope you guys liked the interview with the homeowner. Um, let me know in the comments below if you wanna see more content like that. I'm happy to bring it to you. As always, if you have any questions about relocating the area, do not hesitate to reach out to me and my team. All of my contact information is listed down below. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out. YouTube is gonna put two more awesome suburbs up here that it thinks you're gonna love. And until next time, go out and live the Tampa life. Thank <laughs> you.